राधा रमण हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमण हरि हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गीताई गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल गीताई गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि गीताई गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि हरि बोल बैठो हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि 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 बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि 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 बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि 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 बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल सपना दीदी का है सपना दीदी है कि नहीं हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल पिताई गौर प्रेमानंद से हरि हरि बोल हां पंडा जी यहां पे थोड़ी कथा सुना दो महाराज अंग्रेज में ट्रांसलेशन कर देंगे बोलो इधर आओ हां हिंदी में बोलिए भाई से बोलो हिंदी में समझ से हरे कृष्ण सब कथा सुनो हरि बोल सब इधर आ जाओ हरे कृष्णा बोली राजा रामचंद्र भगवान की सपना दीदी आई कि नहीं देखो उसको ढूंढो सपना नहीं आया तो हसी का दमा शुरू करना आगे आई है वो दिख नहीं रहे भगवान जब सीता रामचंद्र भगवान को बनवास हुआ तो बनवास के समय में वो इलाहाबाद से जब चले श्रंगवेपुर नाम आप लोगों ने सुना होगा इलाहाबाद के आगे श्रंगवेपुर और श्रंग पे ब्रेपुर होते हुए बाल्मीकि आश्रम पड़ेगा इलाहाबाद रोड में तो बाल्मीकि जी से उन्होंने पूछा कि हमारे साथ में एक नारी स्त्री है तो हम लोग हम लोगों की व्यवस्था सुचारू रूप से कहाँ हो सकेगी तो हमें कोई ऐसा स्थान बताइए जहाँ से जहाँ पर हम लोग जो है साढ़े ग्यारह साल वनवास का जो समय यहाँ चित्रकूट में था उन लोगों का साढ़े ग्यारह साल का था तो वहीं पर निवास कर सकेंगे तो उनसे उन जो पूछा गया प्रश्न किया गया तो फिर उन्होंने बताया कि चित्रकूट गिर कर हो निवासु तहाँ तुम्हार सब भांति सुपास अनेक प्रकार से आप लोगों की रक्षा सुरक्षा होगी और रक्षा सुरक्षा किर के द्वारा होगी जहाँ पर आप विराजमान होंगे वो पार्वत की आकृति धनुषाकार होगी वही कामत पार्वत है और सातों तरफ से आपके यहाँ ऋषि विराजमान रहेंगे जो हवन और पाठ पूजा के द्वारा आपकी रक्षा सुरक्षा करते रहेंगे राक्षस लोग आपके अनावरत समय में कोई उल्लंघन और इन छिन्न भिन्न नाना प्रकार से कोई भी वहाँ पर छोरावृत्ति नहीं या आकलन कुछ भी कर नहीं सकते हैं तो वहाँ पर राम विराजे और विराजने के बाद अभी जो आप परिक्रमा लगाएंगी कामतगिरी का वहाँ पर राम और भरत जी का मिलाप हुआ था तो जब राम जी यहाँ पर आए परिक्रमा में तो भरत जी भी आए चरण पादुका लेकर के और चारों धाम का तीर्थ का जल लेकर के आए थे और उसी जल से जो है पादुका का और पैरों का अभिषेक किया रामचंद्र जी का और जो जल बचा था उसी जल को इकट्ठा ला करके इसी कूप में डाल दिया जिसके द्वारा आज आप लोगों ने आचमन किया तो चारों धाम का भी इसमें फल है यदि आप कोई धाम नहीं जा पाए तो चारों धाम भी आपका हो गया और भरत जी का भी हो गया और रामचंद्र जी का भी हो गया 
और बोले राजा राम चंद्र भगवान दशरथ महाराज फॉलोइंग ऑर्डर ऑफ दशरथ महाराज राम पुट ऑन द ड्रेस ऑफ असेटिक Sita also put on a dress of ascetic lady, saffron clothes, and also Lakshman put on the dress of saffron clothes, and then matted their hair. They brought the sap from the banyan tree, and then they matted the hair. You know, sap, sap from the banyan tree, like gum, gum, like gum is like sticky, sticky, you know, glue, glue. Yeah, it is coming from the banyan tree. If you make the, huh? and then they matted their hair. So that hair should be matted like this, and they were very wonderfully uh, looking very ascetic, and they started walking towards forest. So as they are uh, walking in the forest, they came to Ilahabad, where we went to Prayag. They took bath in that uh, confluence there. Then as they were walking, they came to one place, Shringa Veerpur. Uh, there is one place that is where they met Valmiki. So Valmiki is a great devotee of Ram. He was a dacoit. But by chanting the name of Ram, given by Narak Muni, and he had darshan of Rama, and he predicted what will Rama and will happen. He wrote down all the Rama and, uh, and very wonderful. Uh, one particular meter called Anushtup Chhanda. So Valmiki is a great devotee, anyways. He told all Ram. Lord Ram told that we are little bit, you know, uh, inconvenienced because if Ram and Lakshman only two of us would be there, we could stay anywhere. But especially now there is a very delicate lady with us, Sita. She is like goddess of fortune, very delicate. So we cannot take us to a, any dangerous place. So please tell us a place which is very comfortable, uh, especially for a lady like her, and there will be not too much disturbance. Uh, so then Valmiki said, you come to this place called Chitrakut. The Chitrakut is not so far from uh, Shrungaverpur, and there you will see one mountain. What is the shape of the mountain? As we know that Giriraj is shaped like a cow, uh, at having turned the head, or like a peacock. So our our this Kamath Giri is shaped like a bow. Uh, it is he says the shape is like a bow, Lord Ram's bow. So he said that Kamath Giri is very wonderful, very wonderful birds, very wonderful trees, creepers are growing there. On top of that, there are so many great sages like Atri Anusuya. And there are so many high-class sages are living in this area. Every day they are doing so much sacrifices, so much yagya, <coughs> and chanting mantras. And no demons will come in this area because they are scared of these sages. They are so powerful, so the demons don't even come in this area. So you will have peaceful <coughs> life there, good sadhu sangha, good hari katha, and you will be able to do sadhan bhajan very nicely. So then Ram he heeded the advice of. वाल्मीकि एंड ही केव टू दिस प्लेस एज यू आर स्टेइंग हियर भरत महाराज सेड हाउ कैन आई रूल द किंगडम हाउ कैन आई रूल द किंगडम आई एम नॉट केपेबल टू रूल द किंगडम इट बिलोंग्स टू लॉर्ड राम राइट फुली सो देन भरत केम हियर एंड ही ब्रॉट वॉटर्स ऑफ ऑल द होली प्लेसेस अलॉन्ग विथ हिम गंगा ही सेंड हिज असिस्टेंट्स मेसेजर्स एंड दे ब्रॉट वॉटर ऑन हॉर्स कार्ड फ्रॉम ऑल द होली वॉटर्स So Badrinath and all the places, Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Narmada, Sindhu, all the holy waters, and they were brought here. And then he wanted to coronate the Lord Ram here only. That I want to anoint him as the king of Ayodhya. Uh, but Ram said, No, no, no. I will not become the king. My father has ordered me not to become the king. So I, I should be in the forest exile. Then he said. If you cannot come yourself, then you give me your foot, uh, Paduka. And if you give me your Paduka, then I will coronate them as the king of Ayodhya. So Paduka should be anointed. So then, this is the place we wash the feet of Lord Ram, and he washed the Paduka of Lord Ram, and that water. Uh, which was brought from all the four holy places in India, uh, it accumulated in this well. So if you take, so there are, you see that there are four pulleys here, four wheels there to pull the water. So if you pull from one side, taste is totally different. If you put other side, totally totally different. Other side you put another different. So science scientists cannot understand. They think that everything becomes mixed, they all become one. But you know, even after. 
17 million years, 1 crore 7, 17 million years, the taste is still different. So, there is no need to go to any other place. All you have to do is collect the water from this place and it is like going to four dham. So, the man is telling that another scientific wonder that one time there was so much famine in this area. There was not uh, even drop of water to be found anywhere. But this well was completely full of water. It means that this has connection with all the four holy places. It means that it is indirectly, invisibly, uh, in, imperceptibly connected to all the four holy places in India. And the water is coming here. Charodham, uh, water is coming here. Uh, so there is incessant supply of water here. So this is a completely transcendental well. भगवान राम भगवान राम ने जो बनवास किया है कहते इतने सारे जो भक्ति है भक्ति में जो विप्रलंब रस है जो बिरह रस है ये सर्वश्रेष्ठ रस है इसलिए हर लीला में देखो बिरह रस है महाप्रभु नदियावासियों को सबसे ज्यादा प्रेम करते थे हां फिर नदियावासियों को छोड़ कर गए फिर विष्णु प्रिया को छोड़ कर गए कृष्णा ब्रजवासियों को सबसे ज्यादा प्रेम करते थे उन्होंने भी ब्रजवासियों को छोड़ करके मथुरा पर द्वारका चले गए कृष्ण उनको भी उन्होंने बिरह रस आस्वादन किया भगवान राम भी अयोध्या वासियों को सबसे ज्यादा प्रेम करते थे इसलिए जिस समय रामचंद्र राजा भी सब होने का था अभी देवता लोग तो डर गए बोले क्यों बोले अभी रावण इतने उत्पात में चाह रहा है फिर दूसरे दूसरे राक्षस लोग भी इतने उत्पात मचा रहे हैं अगर रामचंद्र का अगर राजा भी सब हो जाएगा राजा हो जाएंगे अगर बनवास नहीं होगा तो सब खत्म कैसे होगी इसलिए सारे देवता लोग भी बिगड़ गए बिगड़ करके मंथरा का जो बुद्धि है इसका नाम ही मंथरा है मंथरा मतलब क्या सबको जो मत डाले सबको बुद्धि को जो बिगाड़ दे इसलिए सारे देवता लोग मिल करके फिर मंथरा बुद्धि को उन्होंने विकृत करवा दिया नहीं तो मंथरा का बुद्धि को विकृत हो सकती है हो ही नहीं सकती कभी क्योंकि जो रह रहे कई कई को साथ में हम पहले सुना जो कई कई राम कितना प्यार करते थे राज्य अभी से सोचते ही उन्होंने मंथरा को प्रसन्न हो करके गला की जो हार उसको दे रहे थे कितने बढ़िया तुमने मेरे को बढ़िया खबर उसने सुनाई हां जो भगवान की नित्य भैया कहते राम बचपन में इनको गोद में सुयब सोए अगर इनको नींद नहीं आता था भगवान राम को पर इतने सब काम कैसे हुआ है एक में तो दत्तों को बात करना है भगवान राम को परित्राण या साधुना बिना साज दुष्कृता और जो सर्वश्रेष्ठ जो वस्तु है भगवान बिरह रस आस्वादन करवाना चाहते हैं इसलिए गुरुदेव कथा सुनाते थे आपके महाराज जी गुरुदेव कथा सुनाते थे कहते कहते ये बिरह रस ही सर्वश्रेष्ठ रस है ऊपर से दिखता है जैसे रो रहे हैं लेकिन ऊपर से जैसे बिरह लेकिन अंदर में एक दिव्य आनंद है इसलिए गुरुदेव एक एग्जांपल देते थे बोले जैसे यहां पर राम लीला आया किसी गांव में इतने सुंदर उन्होंने राम लीला उन्होंने दिखाया सीता की कैसे पाताल प्रवेश हो रहे हैं राम कैसे वनवास जा रहे हैं सारे अयोध्या राम बिरह में सब के सब रो रहे हैं सब के सब कितने बढ़िया दिखाया उन्होंने अद्भुत उन्होंने दिखाया राम लीला जितने समय तक उन्होंने राम लीला को सुने उतना समय तक देखने वाले सुनने वाले सारा रात रोए 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 सारा रात रोए उनको फिर पता चला ये जो लीला है कल फिर दूसरे गांव में होने जा रही है फिर क्या करेंगे सारे को गांव के गांव के लोग फिर दो बार उसी गांव में जाएंगे इतने बढ़िया दिखा बोले भैया रात भर रोए फिर क्या रोने के लिए फिर जा रहे हैं रात भर दर रोए फिर रोने के लिए जा रहे हैं हां यही है इधर जद्दे भी ऊपर से रोना है ऊपर से बिरह है लेकिन अंदर में एक दीप आनंद है उसमें इसलिए योग माया ने इस सब काम सब योग माया सब के सब करा रहे केवल उनको बिरह रस का आस्वाद मिल रहा है मारे स्टेलिंग दैट व्हाई चैतन्य महाप्रभु ए क्या बात कर रहे हो हरि कथा रे बात करने लग गया बुद्धि फ्रस्ट्रेट है सो वन टाइम Lord Ramchandra went to Navadip in Modadrum Deep. So when he went there, he told uh, he told Sita, and he began to laugh all of a sudden. Sita said, "Why are you laughing? What is this?" He said, "I am remembering my past time of Kali Yuga. That in this particular millennium, one particular day, one watchman will speak something about your character, and will abandon you and send you to the forest. And in the forest will beget two sons, Love and Kush. They will be disciples of Valmiki. Valmiki will teach them Ramayana." Then they will come 
in my assembly and they'll sing that Ramayan. And then tears will flow from my eyes, hearing my own story. Love and push will glorify my own story. Tears will flow from my eyes. And in your absence, I will make lakhs and lakhs of golden sitas. And I will perform sacrifice with them. Uh, I, I will ask uh, Vashishtha, I want to perform sacrifice. Vashishtha said, you cannot perform sacrifice. For performing sacrifice, your wife has to be with you. Then, okay, what to do? I cannot call Sita back. Vashishtha said, call Sita back. He said, I cannot do this. Okay, make a golden Sita, do Prabhupatrishtha and do the sacrifice. So, lakhs and lakhs of Sitas will be accumulated like that, golden Sitas. So, I will perform that past time of separation from you. Then, <clears throat> and then when Kali Yuga, one, one particular day when you are sleeping, uh, I will do four Padakshina to my mother and with all my full clothes on, I will jump in the Ganga in the cold season and go out to Kesho Puri, Kesho uh, Bharati's ashram and I will shave my head and take sannyas. And you will be weeping in my separation. So when in Ram Lila, in this particular pastime, I will be weeping from your separation because I have sent you to the forest. But in next pastime, you will be weeping from my separation. Then Sita said, why you are doing such cruel activities? Why you are always giving trouble to me like this? Then Ram told, Na vina vipralam vena sambhogasya pushti mushnute. He said, just now we had breakfast. Just now we came breakfast and now here this Pandaji will give us five malpuvas and ten laddus. Will we be able to eat it? No one will be able to eat. Why? Because because we have already had so much kartushka and so much puri and everything. And how will we be able to eat it now? But now after four o'clock if Siddhar Maharaj doesn't give prasad, we will be try, ready to beat him. Why not giving prasad? Uh, so, <laughs> and if he gives even stale chapati and stale sabji, we will take it. And we will grab from his hand and eat it by force. Because what happened? There was a gap of eight hours in prasadam. Understand? So, when the separation is there, your hunger will rise to such a high level, then you, whatever is there, you will feel so much love and affection for the object. So, therefore, Lord Krishna also, while he left the gopis and he went to Mathura, so that the love and affection of the gopis will increase more and more. Uh, so, when Krishna was living in Mathura, then he was living in Dwarka, and after killing Dantavakra, when he came back to Braj, the love of gopis had uh, uh, had increased million folds. So, Shridhar Maharaj is telling that he heard from Gurudev, uh, that Gurudev also used to tell that <coughs> the pastimes of Lord Ram are so pathetic that you practically you don't need any glycerin to get tears. Understand? You sit in Ram's pastimes from from first pastime to last pastime, the person is weeping and weeping and weeping. Only tears will be flowing. Lord Ram's pastimes are only meant for weeping. So, in India there is a lot of Ram Leela is going on. So, there is actually some uh, some devotees, they make a trupe and they perform the Ram's activities. They will perform the, one will perform the pastime of Ram, one will pray the pastime of uh, Sita, uh, and one will pray the pastime of Lakshman like this. And this trupe is going from village to village. So some devotees, and our Guru, they also uh, used to see this Ram Leela and used to weep in Ram Leela. All night this Ram Leela will go on. They will begin at 10 o'clock until 4 o'clock in the morning, 6 hours. It's a marathon drama session. And so all the pastimes, how Sita is kidnapped, how Ram is weeping in her separation, and the fire test, this, that, and then accusations of the washerman, abandoning of Sita, all pathetic pastimes. Everyone is weeping in the audience. But when that troupe will go to the next village to perform the same drama, all the people from the first village want to go to that next village also, just so that they want to weep more and more and more. So, if there is so much weeping, so much crying, and so much distress in pastimes of Ram, why they are paying money to get weeping? Huh? Why such tragedy they want to see? Because Siddhar Maharaj is telling that although there is externally it may appear to be distress, internally it is happiness. So the Bhakti Raksha Siddhar Maharaj used to give an example. You know Karela? Karela is bitter gold. So anyone will be able to eat Karela just like that? No. It is very, very bitter. But suppose you, you melt the sugar, right? Make the, melt the sugar and make karela out of that sugar. Now eat that sugar karela, what will happen? It will be sweet. All the external is the shape of that sugar karela is like karela, is like the bitter gourd, but it is made of sugar. If you make the neem leaves, neem leaves if you eat, they are very bitter. But suppose you make the neem leaves from the sugar, you melt the sugar, melt the sugar, 
and shape them like neem leaves, shape them like bitter gourd, then that neem leaves will appear very, very sweet because they are made from sugar. So even the separation, uh, Radharani experiences from uh, Krishna, in Ujjwal Nilamani Rukhva Swami Pada explaining, the separation Radharani experiences from Krishna is so great and it is full of so much bliss that it will dance on the head of all happiness in Vaikuntha planet. Uh, so that is the glories of separation mood. Understand? That is the glories of the separation mood. So here, this coop is actually nothing but the Abhishek of the Lord uh, Paduka. This is Charnamrut of the Lord. Understand? So Bharat Koop ke uh, If you spend a lot of money, then you can go to Charnam. You know, take the water of Charitam, but when you came here, together you can, you know, get the Charitam, water of Charitam. If you have to pay for money, you will have to pay for Charitam. But when you come here, you will have to pay for Charitam, and you will have to pay for Charitam. You will have to pay for Charitam. So, you will have to pay for Charitam. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. Hey, okay.